Good morning and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along for a day in the life of. I don't have four long nights this week trying to stack my kills. My, my breakfast. <laughs> Just did a face mask. I have not been doing a really good job taking care of my skin lately. So I did a good exfoliant, washed, and then this mask is a combination of Aztec clay with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water, and then I did put a few drops of Melaleuca oil. And then I'm gonna let this kind of just soak in. I know a lot of people do mask at night, which is great, but I don't really think it matters so much like when you do your mask. And I hate like sitting in bed with my mask on for some reason. So anyway, doing this mask, about to make the twins a smoothie. All right, if you have kids that are picky at all, like at all, you should be throwing smoothies in their life because I feel like every kid loves a smoothie and you can sneak in all the stuff that they might not be getting in their normal diet. I make sure I do a smoothie every morning and I feel like this is the best way to like put in all the nutrients that they might be deficient in. My smoothies are never exactly the same and it's kind of dependent on what I have, but as a base I use, I typically like to always have banana um, and then frozen fruit and then I always add in some kind of green. I've been using a lot of kale lately, but I always try to do some kind of green and then um, I'll either use half juice and half water or I will use water and then I'll add dates for a little bit of extra sweetness. And then for a little bit of like, I guess, supplementation, I always add in um, like hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds. These are all high in like omega-3s as well as more fiber. Great sources of iron, um, some phosphorus, some magnesium. So yeah, calcium, potassium. The main thing, especially with um, my middle child, is that she's not a big fan of greens so I'm, I'm throwing in like three to four cups of kale also my broccoli sprouts have finished sprouting and that's so I'm gonna throw a little bit of these in there as well these are really potent and really good for you <laughs> The kids are just having their smoothies, watching some TV and chilling, and while they're doing that, I'm gonna get breakfast started. I'm gonna go ahead and do some prepping for dinner. Tonight we're gonna have kind of like a southern style dinner. I had um, these uh, peeled peas with snaps in the freezer. I also have a pack of um, these Annie's pastries. These are honestly like not the healthiest ever because it is, um, <clears throat> the ingredients are enriched flour, water, and vegetable oil. That's it. So it's three ingredients. So it's not terrible, but at the same time, I don't like using processed flour. Um, and then I would prefer to not have vegetable oil. I'm honestly not going to be using a lot, but this is going to be our take on chicken and pastry with, it's going to be like veggie and pastry with field peas. To get started on our field peas, we want to add different depths of flavor because we aren't using meat. So we're just going to saute up some mushrooms until they get dark, dark golden brown. And I use a little olive oil. <laughs> Did you bite ginger? Is it hot? Is it spicy? Hot? <laughs> you didn't like it? You didn't like it? You can see now they're really, really dark golden brown. This is going to add some real depth of flavor, some like umami flavor. 
Um, and to this now that we have a good base, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my frozen beans. And then I'm going to um, season these up with a little bit of soy sauce. This again is going to add like a deeper, richer flavor versus just adding in a little bit of salt. So we'll add in that soy sauce and then I will also add in some liquid smoke. If you are eating plant-based or vegan or trying to even maybe just limit the amount of meat that you're using, you really need to get liquid smoke. This is amazing. So once I finish that, I will add in enough water just to cover the beans by about an inch, maybe two inches. And then I will let those simmer for about 35 to 40 minutes and the beans are done. To get started on our veggies and pastries, we're gonna go ahead and sweat out some roughly chopped celery and onion. And you're just gonna sweat these out till they're, the onions are a little bit soft and translucent. In that process, you will also wanna continue to season through the whole process, so salt and pepper. And then once the onions are soft, you can add in your carrots and your remaining spices. So today I did use parsley, marjoram, and a little bit of dill. I highly recommend using dill in any of your more mild flavored soups or um, even like pastry fillings. It's so delicious and it adds such a unique flavor that I had never tried before, but it's amazing. So once all of your um, onions are sweated down, you're just going to cover everything in water and you'll go ahead and bring that up to a boil. Once everything has been boiling for about five or 10 minutes and your carrots are starting to get a little bit tender, then you're gonna add in a can of sweet peas as well as a can of green beans. And you wanna actually just go ahead and throw in the juices that came in both of those cans because they'll add a really good flavor as well. And then bring that up to a boil again and then you will just add in your pastries and let them simmer for about 15 minutes and you are done. This is exactly why I cook dinner in the morning during breakfast time because they are just so sweet and easy going in the morning. They'll just sit here and watch me as I'm cooking and honestly they're so good but they around four o'clock get crazy. So if you have little ones and you are trying to be accomplished through the day and you're trying to have dinner on the table, I highly recommend trying this idea of cooking your dinner during breakfast. So this is my breakfast. I had some leftover carrots and cucumbers left over from sushi that I made yesterday. And there's actually a little bit of um, sushi rice in there as well. And I just mixed this with like this, uh, it's like a, like the ginger dressing you get at like Japanese restaurants. So it's like ginger, carrot, garlic, a little bit of rice vinegar, um, and I just blend it. So that's the dressing on that. And then some avocado toast. And I had a little bit of beet juice left, so I'm gonna have that. And this is actually my third cup of water. And I'm gonna get that down, and this will be breakfast, and then hopefully I will get a workout in, and then we'll go on with the rest of the day. I roasted up some sweet potatoes just because I had the oven on from the girls' breakfast. Field peas and snaps. Veggies and, pastries and veggies. This will be for dinner. And I, I know it seems kinda crazy to have put the pastries in now, but I actually like it to get thick like this. It's easier to serve to the kids. So I can just put it in their bowl and even the babies can just hand feed themselves. I don't have to feed them. Also, if you have never tried dill in either chicken and pastries or veggies and pastries, whatever you're making or any kind of soups, you should try it. It is so delicious. Now that I have my prep done and the kids are occupied, they're actually outside in the sandbox, which by the way, was a great and terrible idea. <laughs> Great idea. They're occupied a lot by the sandbox. Bad idea because I'm also occupied by cleaning up the sand all over the house. Breakfast is done. Kitchen's cleaned up. Dinner's prepped. Got some extra meal prep in. I'm about to get a workout. And then when I lay the twins down, we're going to do a... Con Mari, or however you say her name. We're about to do a deep cleaning of my closet and I'll take you guys along for that too. So let's get a workout in though.
It ain't nothing to me Young Tom Hardy with the movies Act out smoothly, make you for the goofies Pokemon with the hoes cause I'm choosy Saying she a foodie, thinking she uni And she always stressing about uni Think it's my duty to go and get faded with my goonies Down shots like little Uzi I done had four long nights this week Try and stack my kills, my kills, my kills Hit up my spot, gon' chill Every wish give me my bills, my bills, my bills I spit gold too much, might as well make myself some grills, some grills, some grills Hitting these goals too much, pour some beer to the brim My spill, my spill, my spill I been out way too long, when when I'm gon' find the cusp I be with the special kids, no way you gon' ride my bus Eyes too sus, no trust Talking about love, you ain't talking about us You be thinking you rush, trying to do it yourself there. Well so the twins are laying down. The big girls are gonna doing some art, glitter glue. some glitter glue art, and, and then I guess beads. you'll paint after. I mean, not paint. You'll color in your picture after you do the glitter glue. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know what? That just. Why did I think about this? Color first. Draw color folds and then do it. I don't know. That's why I only got my pants. It's all right though. I had all these huge aspirations of like cleaning out my closet and doing all this stuff, and I'm on. I'm so tired right now. So while the big girls are occupied and the babies are laying down, I'm gonna lay on the couch and try to nap. I'm about to nap. I might not even clean my closet today. We'll see. <laughs> All right, up from naps. Now I'm about to clean out my closet. Let me show you how bad it is. To get started on cleaning out my closet and wardrobe, the first thing that I always do is I go through my dresser and I'm just going to take out all the things that are not summer season anymore and are too warm, obviously. And I am also, during this process, going to see if there's anything that I didn't wear this season or anything that I just keep holding on to, and I'll actually get rid of that at this point as well. And then once I have all of these drawers gone through, then I'm going to start in the closet, and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull everything out because I keep a, like a tote, um, one of those just Rubbermaid totes. I keep all my whatever season I'm not in within that tote. So I will pull everything out and once I have everything out, I can go ahead and start switching out my summer for winter stuff directly into this tote. As I'm going through this cleaning process, I always try to make separate piles. And so typically how I do my piles is I have one pile that's gonna be just either donated, then I have one pile that is for people that I know, either previous stuff that I've borrowed from my mom or sister, or clothing that I think that they would be interested in. Um, so I separate that as well. And then if I have stuff that just doesn't belong in my closet, but I'm keeping, I keep that in a separate pile as well. I do keep all my workout stuff um, for my um, at home fitness stuff in my closet. And this actually really helps me because North Carolina weather is terrible so it's way too hot to always work out outside so most of the time I do work out right here in my room and if I have this stuff right here easily convenient and where it's really easily accessible I am much more apt to actually doing the workout because if I have to go all the way to the barn to grab something it's going to be another excuse so if you are trying to get on a workout regimen or routine and you are really struggling with it I highly recommend removing any kind of obstacles whether that's laying your clothes out so you can get up to be to the gym on time or making sure you have the equipment available or the workouts available and just take away any kind of excuses or limitations that way you are bound to have success once I have transferred the different seasons out of my closet and put my winter stuff back into this tote, then I can start loading everything back into the closet and I'm actually done. And this normally probably takes me about half of a day just to do my closet. But since I've done this whole kind of like capsule closet where you have very limited amount of things and items, ever since that I've done that, 
it has been so much faster to go through my closet. And I actually, this is my third time now of going through the closet after doing the capsule closet. And I have so much less attachment to clothing. I used to have such a hard time getting rid of stuff. But now that I've done this whole capsule closet, it has made life so much easier for me. And now my closet is just so much more organized. And yeah, it's a lot easier as I switch out the seasons. If anyone is interested what a capsule closet actually is, that pretty much means that you can take your clothes, whatever you own, in your closet, put it in a capsule, and send it back 10 years or forward 10 years, and would you still wear it? So it's pretty much about just keeping essential staple items and not really holding on to fad items that fade out. So yeah, I love the whole concept. What's wrong? What do you want? Did she take your pineapple? Here. Yeah. Organized, and I've got the house kind of somewhat. Hold on. You want me to get it? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm about to. Well, dinner's pretty much done. I'm just throwing together a salad, and the twins are already. I don't have any more pineapple. The dressing that I'm going to be throwing together for this salad, I am literally just going to take a lemon and squeeze it into the salad. Maybe not the whole thing because I'm just doing a single portion right now. So it's going to be lemon juice. I'm going to add a tiny squeeze of Dijon mustard which is gonna be nice with the um, celery and the apple. And I'm gonna put a little pinch of salt, some pepper, a little bit of olive oil. You can make this dressing like a head and just make it into an actual like Dijon vinaigrette, but I like to just toss it into the salad just like this. And then a little bit of maple syrup, a tiny bit of this, not a lot. Be our salad dressing really light really easy super fresh so much better to make a dressing like this than to just buy a store-bought one because you know what's in it um, and go really light on your dressing and just toss it like this and it's like it's so much better so this will go with the dinner that we made earlier and yeah Thanks for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. It was a little bit more of like a southern style. Like you can still eat southern food and it still be plant based. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for every Wednesday. I post new videos every Wednesday. If you're new to the channel, this channel is really just about like cleaning up your diet, trying to live a healthier lifestyle, all while being entertained by these small humans. I mean, how entertaining is this? Anyway, make sure you subscribe. Subscribing is free, does not cost anything, and it keeps you informed on when I'm posting a new vid video. Make sure you also hit the bell because that's actually what's gonna notify you of a new video. And just be sure to tune in weekly. And like I said, I will post a new video hopefully weekly to keep inspiring you guys to eat more plant-based and live a healthier lifestyle. Thanks again, bye. It's a mud dauber. <laughs>